Hey guys, Goose here, man. Coming back at your video, and we're gonna uh, go over the Saints and the Texans preseason game. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that mumbo, mumbo jumbo, so you get notified when we go live again and whatnot. All right, so the Saints and the Texans uh, played Saturday night. Texans won 17-13, and they scored a touchdown about 25 seconds left to go in the football game, and uh, they get the win in preseason. It's gonna need much. In preseason, but nevertheless, they did win the game. All right, so the Saints, uh, I thought the Saints defense played pretty, pretty well uh, all game. Um, you know, um, yeah, they gave, they gave a touchdown late in the game, but that's pretty much, uh, you got a lot of backups in at that point in football games. So I thought the defense played really, really good. Um, offense, uh, especially, especially Ian Book played horrible. So let's recap the first drive of the game. Houston gets the, gets the ball first. And they go three and out. Saints defense did a great job. Uh, they actually lost yards on ball, I think all three plays. Um, they had to put the football. So Texas put the football to the Saints, and Andy Dalton goes right down the field, and they get a touchdown. Touchdown pass from uh, Dalton to Washington, between Washington and the Saints lead 7 nothing. And then Andy Dalton gets taken out. And then uh, after the game, uh, on some of the uh, you know, message boards, you know, take with a grain of salt on a, me on a message board. But uh, wondering well, why Dalton only play one drive? Why why did Dalton only play one drive? We don't want a game if you played, you know, you know, three or four drives. I mean, what's, what's it matter? You want to get hurt? You want Andy, do you want Andy Dalton to get hurt because you saw what you had in Ian Book? Uh, Ian Book uh, looked very uh, bad again today or, or Saturday, excuse me. Uh, he looked bad last year, but that was against uh, that was against uh, you know when he played Miami in the regular season. That I gave him the benefit of the doubt on that because just. Just of the circumstances of how why he had to start, but uh, looks like he hasn't progressed at all. Um, still overthrowing receivers, uh, taking sacks, and some of them some of them it's not him. Uh, there was some bad there was a, there was one bad drive in the uh, fourth quarter that uh, that uh, was pinning and uh, 67 couldn't block anybody, and, uh, and he took a few sacks on I think two sacks on that drive, but. Uh, Ian Book needs, uh, he needs, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if he can even be a third string quarterback at this point. Um, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't, uh, definitely wouldn't, uh, I feel, if the Saints had a lot of Ian Book, yeah, they wouldn't win many football games at all. Hopefully he never comes down to that. Hopefully Andy Dalton and uh, Jameis Winston don't get to the point where uh, we're starting Ian Book. Um, so, Anyway, so um, yeah, I mean the Saints. Uh, you know, it's preseason. You take it, take it a grain of salt. Uh, you no, know, Dixon had a good good day for the Saints. I think he had like three receptions, like over, almost forty yards, I believe. He had a good day. Uh, didn't really see much of Alavi. I think Alavi. I think Alavi only had like one catch. Let me look at the stats real quick. He had one. Yeah, one. Alavi only had one catch for four yards. He wasn't in, in the game. I, I didn't see him in the game that much, especially after the first few drives of the football game. Um, but uh, I was hoping to see him a little more. Uh, in the passing game, but when you have uh, Ian Book throwing the ball, fo throwing the football to you, you might not get uh, that many uh, chances to catch the football. So, you know, you have to look at that also. So, hopefully, um, maybe, maybe maybe he'll get on. Maybe he'll uh, get some uh, some reps with Dalton against uh, Green Bay this week. I, I don't expect any Dalton to play that much either. Uh, this coming Friday against Green Bay. Um, I was hoping to see Costello. That's why I was hoping, hoping to see, just because somebody different. Uh, that's the guy who threw for like 620 something yards against LSU back in 2020. Um, I'm, I'm just curious to see what he had. I mean, he can't be any worse than Ian Book. Um, it is preseason, so I'm, I was a little shocked that they didn't get Costello any reps. Maybe uh, Dennis Allen said, "Look, you know, Ian Book needs all, all the work he can get. Let's just leave him in the whole game." And then we'll worry about next week. We'll worry about uh, the quarterback rotation next week. Maybe that's what Dennis Allen thought. Anyway, so congratulations, congratulations to the Texans. They win 17-13. It's preseason. I mean, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to melt over it, uh, over a loss. But I am, I mean, I'm a little concerned about uh, Ian Book because he hasn't really shown any kind of progression from last year to this year. And uh, hopefully, Trevor Penning will have a little more solid game this coming week. And uh, We'll go from there. Yeah, so I'll be live for the uh, for the uh, Green Bay Packers and the Saints. They play Friday night. So it's going to be Friday night with Goose. So uh, you guys have a good one.
And uh, I'll see you guys tonight for the Ray Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees from the Bronx. I won't be in the Bronx, but the game will be. Have a good one. Who that?